In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create an online assignment, which will then grade it for you in Skyward, and it will post it to your gradebook in Skyward. Uh, this function is similar to Google Forms, except for the fact that it posts it to your gradebook, so it makes a little bit less work for teachers. Um, this is a sandbox account. Names are not real. They're made up. And I only have this end of it. I can't log in as a student and show you how students would log in and take it. Uh, on their student access to their Skyward. So I'm going to show you what I know and how to create an online assignment. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is log into Skyward and go to your gradebook. And you may choose whatever class you'd like. Let's do cosmetology. Um, and again, this is a sandbo uh, sandbox account. So I cannot really add this assignment to my gradebook because the dates don't match. Just like you'd always add an assignment, let's go add an assignment. And let's just name it Math Test. And here you have a couple options. You can um, assign the day, have your actual due date. And you can see here that's going to post to Family and Student Access. And so we want that posted to Student Access so they can take it online. So from here, we got our title, and I am going to choose Options and then Create Online Assignment. From here, you see that my name, Math Test, is already there. You can give a description here if you'd like. Um, points per question you can change right there. Randomized question, I highly recommend that because if students are taking tests next to each other on iPads or laptops, uh, they can look back and forth and, and copy that way. So randomize them. One more thing you want to do is questions per page. I had heard that the, the less questions per page is going to make it harder for students to cheat because if there's 20 questions and you have four questions per page, that's five pages that students will be accessing, which makes it harder for people to cheat. So you could um, do three or four. Let's do uh, three questions per page. And this is neat here. You can make it so on um, student access in Skyward, you have a start date and stop date and a date where you can show results. So if I am planning for a test next week, um, I can make my November 5th date be a day that we're taking the test, and November 6th it's stopping, and on the November 10th, let's say, you can see your results. You can have your results shown immediately, but uh, that way students will have less chances of cheating if results are shown instantly. It's your preference, whatever you'd like to do. The next thing, is auto score and post to gradebook. That is a huge feature that Skyward has. And you can have correct answers be shown. So once they submit it, and this time right here is available, then correct answers can be shown. So you can have that checked on or off if you'd like. All right, so we have this part set up. Let's go to save and add questions. And the three kind of questions that you can add are multiple choice, true, false, and matching. Mm -hmm. So let's do our multiple choice question. Square root of 25 is for the question. And notice here you have a toolbar. You can add pictures, links, um, change your font, um, colors, and things like that with your toolbar. So that's one neat feature. And also for your images or for your answers, you can attach images of pictures. Of things that you'd like but let's just do a basic one right now so let's say first answer is 100 we got 50 25 and 5 and notice over here um, you can click on the correct answer so I know that 5 is correct and we are done with that question so I believe you can say save and add another so for our second question let's do a true false um, and we can say that the earth is flat and that is false and we'll do another one let's make this matching so let's just have two of them prime and we'll say my prime is um, has only two factors And composite is 
vectors. Now, I can match these by taking answer 1 prime and matching it with A and composite with B. And you can do multiple. You can make both of them match to A if you like. And you can make a bunch of vocab and definitions here. So let's say save and back. Questions required. I thought I put that in. Uh, match. Now this is the part where I can't really access seeing where it goes on the Skyward account for the students. Um, here you can see the assignment questions and you can move them up and down. So if you want this one down farther, you can just click the down arrow and it'll take you, give you a different order. You can shuffle the question order here, which really you don't have to do that because when students take it, it's going you know, to automatically shuffle for them. Um, so we're all set here. Let's hit our save. Uh, save and back. And so now this has been created. And like I said, because um, I'm not in the right dates for this class it's a sandbox account, I can't see that on my account. But students will need their username and password to get on Skyward. When they get access Skyward, there should be an online assignments tab or there should be a recent history for each class that they can choose and they'll see the assignment where they can take it and I practiced with their book and it was automatically scored for them in their grade book with no problems.